Operation Digital Pioneer Mission 4, Optimization. Now, what's optimization? It is the perfection and improvement of the digital marketing performance. This is, this is where we come to increase and enhance the performance of our existing campaigns. We've implemented the marketing strategy already. We've launched the campaigns. But now we need to make them better as they're live. This is live changes, live optimization, live improvement. We look at the SEO review per keyword, per page, and then we decide which kinds of optimization we can do for each page. So let's say that a keyword is already in position one. What's its click-through rate? How many clicks does it get for the impressions that it receives? Let's say you're in position one for a keyword and you're getting a thousand impressions. A thousand people typed it in and you were in position one a thousand times. Good for you. How many clicks did you get? 3%? 30%? 100%? Nobody gets 100%. Why? Because it's text. Because there's, there's ads above your position one listing. There's probably a Google Maps right above your listing. All of these things distract the consumer from clicking on your position one link. So even if you're in position one, it's not enough. Now we can talk about getting a positive five-star review in structured data on the page. Oh, now that is interesting. A five-star golden star review, that's gonna attract a lot of clicks. What about a video? You'll have the thumbnail right next to your listing, right? And that's gonna get you a lot more clicks because people wanna see videos more than they wanna see text. All of these things are wonderful, wonderful techniques, and there's many more than that, to optimize a page to increase the click-through rate. And then we can increase the conversion rate from those keywords by improving the calls to action on the, on, the, on the landing page. Maybe get people to interact with the content or with the product once they're on the page. Whatever these things are, it's all a part of SEO review and optimization. We do basically exactly the same thing with Google Ads, but this time we're trying to improve the KPIs. Remember when we did short-term KPIs in Mission 3? We discussed that we had to make sure that we reached a minimum of this much in order to indicate that we have a success metric. So projections and reporting, that just tells you where you are. But a KPI sets a, sets a line in the sand. We need to be minimum here. That's the minimum KPI. This was our projections, great. This is our KPI, and this is where we actually ended up, not so great. And so now we review those KPIs and we improve them so that we have a better idea of what we can realistically expect from our marketing strategy, and then we'll always try to hit those KPIs or surpass them. This is really important for the board of directors because they don't like surprises. They like it when you hit your KPIs. That's what they like. They like it when you, when you, when you go 10% above your KPIs. That's wonderful, but not 10,000% because now they're probably going to have a problem with support, customer service, not enough products, inventory. Board of directors don't like surprises. So we make sure that they, that they know what they're about to get and that's where that's what we do in mission four we learn how to how to uh, improve the key performance indicators then we also talk about conversion rate optimization all over again but this time we're doing it on a much much deeper level now we're really we know that we're getting customers all the time now we're going to look at abandoned carts do you even know what that is? Abandoned, what, somebody abandons the cart and they leave, but they put in their phone number and their email. And, and, and so we actually sent them an email saying, hey, what's, uh, what's going on? Why did, you, why did you abandon the cart? We're going, to establish, we're going to look at each abandoned cart and analyze what we can do to regain those people. Maybe there's something that we're not doing that we can do to save us some sales that we've lost and so on. Then we'll be talking about advanced ad creatives and extensions. So there are so many different ad extensions that you can use in search engine marketing and display advertising and video advertising. So many different ways. But all of these things, first of all, they're just tools and techniques. Now we need to learn how to best use them in order to increase our conversion rates, in order to increase our click-through rates and our impression share and our market share. Then we talk about the product and service all over again, and we continue the conversations that we started 
in mission one. Talk to me about your pro or mission two. Talk to me about your product again. Talk to me about your service. Now that you know what people are constantly asking about your products and about your industry, I'm sure that you can have much more ideas. I want to hear it all. And even if you talk for five hours straight about your product, that can be hundreds of thousands of words. It's enough to write a book on the subject. And we need to write a book on the subject. That's the only way, that's the only way to become an authority on the internet is by talking louder and more and more accurately than everyone else on the internet about your specific keyword. The keyword that your consumer typed in in order to buy your product. We want to be the best. We want to be the only ones with all of the answers. And that's what we're going to be talking about in product and service call to action round three. Let's talk about becoming an authority. Then we talk about review and improvement of KPIs overall, not just Google Ads uh, uh, KPI improvements, but all of the dig digital marketing channels. We talk about improving those KPIs to make it much more accurate. Okay, so actually with this particular channel, it turns out our KPIs were too high originally. We need to lower them because we're not going to make more money from that. Okay, that's fine, but that's something that we need to establish. Or actually we need to increase the KPI on affiliate marketing because now it's working, etc, etc. We need to review and improve the accuracy of our digital marketing projections. This is how much money we think we're going to make. We were kind of right last time, but now we know that we're going to make this much money. Okay, and we're going to make these improvements, and then we're, that means that we're going to make even more projected revenue than last time. Great, that's awesome. Finally, we improve our daily habits. Daily habits is how you achieve success in digital marketing. It's the minutia of the details that will deliver success on a global digital marketing strategy. And so we'll help you establish optimization, daily habits of optimization on all of your different media campaigns. Mixed with the monitoring and reporting that you do every day anyway, this will help you increase the performance of your digital marketing every single day. One hour of improvements, 20 minutes of reporting, an hour and a half worth of work, Every single day is the same exact work, but that'll help you really establish a good foothold in your digital marketing strategy.